Which of the following compounds has a net zero dipole moment? A molecule that has a net zero dipole moment is also called a nonpolar molecule. So what this question is asking us, it's asking us which of the following is a nonpolar molecule? Here I wrote out an easiest simple way to figure out whether your molecule is polar or nonpolar. There are two cases. In case A, we have two atoms of the same element that are attached to one another, such as H2, N2, O2, and so on. This is the simpler case. If two same atoms are attached to one another, they have a nonpolar bond, and the molecule will be nonpolar as well. Now we have another case, so that was case A. In the other case, which is a, more, a little bit more complicated, two conditions must be fulfilled. The central atom, the atom that's in the middle of the molecule, has to be surrounded by the same atoms. For example, if we have carbon that has four hydrogens next to it, this atom is around, the central atom is surrounded by the same atom, all of them are hydrogens. This is just an example. That's the first condition. And the second condition that must be fulfilled for the molecule to be nonpolar in this case is that it must have one of the following shapes. It has to be linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal bipyramidal, octahedral, or square planar. And I have a video where I help you to identify what shape your molecule is. And here we will review it a little bit also. So now let's look at our answer choices and determine which of the following molecules is nonpolar and has a net zero dipole moment. If we look at answer choice A, we don't even have to draw a loose dot structure for it, even though I did, because we can see that it's, there are two different atoms connected to one another, so the mole and the molecule has a charge. Therefore, molecule has to be polar. And that is not our answer choice. For choice B, we have to draw out the correct loose dust structure. And you can look at my loose dust structure video to, um, to learn how to easily draw it out. Here, just to save us some time, I already drew it out. And so let's look at this molecule and figure out whether it is polar or nonpolar. The central atom here is sulfur. And it is indeed surrounded by the same atoms since it is surrounded by two oxygens. Now we have to figure out what is the shape of this molecule. I have my central atom is sulfur and it's attached to two other atoms and has one lone pair. So if I go up to the charge that to the chart that I created, I have an atom that had attached to two other atoms with one lone pair. And we can see it right here. So this is my central atom attached to two other atoms and has one lone pair. Its shape is bent. So if we look here, is bent one of the shapes I listed? No, it is not. Therefore, this molecule is polar. And that is not our answer. Okay, two choices eliminated. Let's go to the third one. For the third one, we did not, for choice C, we did not have to draw its loose dust structure because right away it does not fulfill my first condition here. The central atom is surrounded by the same atoms. Here, the central atom is carbon, it has three hydrogens and a chlorine. So if it would be surrounded, for example, by four hydrogens, then yes, this condition would be filled. But here it is not. It's, it's not satisfying the first condition. We have different atoms that it is, it is attached to. Therefore, this molecule is also polar. I forgot to draw T, which is CO. But for D, for CO, again, right away we can see that it's two different elements. And so if it's two different uh, uh, elements attached to one, uh, two, different, uh, two atoms of different elements attached to one another, again, it, does not set, it, it cannot be a nonpolar molecule because the bond is polar and the molecule will be polar as well. So that is not the correct answer. So let's go finally to E. I have already drawn 
the correct Lewis dot structure and we will look at the conditions. The central atom is surrounded by the same atoms. So here the central atom is sulfur. Is it surrounded by the same atoms? Yes, it's surrounded by three oxygens. The molecule has one of the following shapes. Let's figure out the shape of this molecule. We have sulfur attached to three atoms and it has no lone pairs. So our central atom is attached to three other atoms, no lone pairs. It must be this, trigonal planar. We have central atom in purple attached to three other atoms in blue, no lone pairs, trigonal planar. So the shape is trigonal planar. And indeed, trigonal planar is one of our shapes. So the mo so all of the dipole moments of the bonds will cancel one another. This molecule is symmetrical. And overall, this molecule will be nonpolar. So that will be our answer. This is my Alochi from Transformation Tutoring. I hope you enjoyed my video and I look forward to seeing you in more of my organic and general chemistry videos.